In this lesson, we talked about everything from taxation of personal life insurance to IRS Section 1035 policy exchanges. While not big, this part of the state licensing exam can have a great impact on your overall test score. There are a couple things that will help you to recall the information on the test if you get stuck on a question. When thinking about taxes in general, remember the concept of one side, not both sides, in the tax equation. For instance, premiums paid for an individual life insurance policies are not tax deductible. That's one side of the equation. And on the other side, the principal death benefit is received tax-free by the beneficiary. Another thing to remember is if you don't pay taxes on something now, you'll pay it later. A good example of this is the tax-deferred accumulation within a permanent life insurance and annuity. You don't pay taxes on the gain as it's growing because it's tax deferred, but you will pay taxes later when the funds are received. There are many examples of this idea and keeping it in mind will help as you complete the practice quizzes and then move on to the state test. Have a copy of your state's insurance candidate licensing bulletin, which can be obtained through your state insurance website or testing provider. It explains the entire testing process, but most importantly, contains a content outline. This details specifically what will be tested and how many questions will appear on your exam for each section of the test. We've laid out our material in the same order and the format as the content outlines to help keep your studies coordinated. Thank you again for choosing At Your Pace Online.